Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card. So what do we have for Virgo please angels? What is the message Virgo needs to hear for the week? Message that Virgo needs to hear for the week, thank you. Interesting, helpful people. When I get this card, Virgo, sometimes I get there's someone of influence this week who is having a positive influence in your life. Yeah. Someone is of influence this week. Feel someone's on your side in whatever context. So let's pull some cards and see what we get can be divine energy as well clearly but it feels uh, it feels somebody of influence okay so I'm going to pull three cards Virgo and then we clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay Virgo starting with your challenge what do we have for Virgo please I like the first card to fall out thank you king of pentacles this can be you can be Taurus generally for me as a reader, but it can be you, Virgo as well, male or female energy. Advice from Spirit, Five of Pentacles. And we have Judgment. Message for Virgo, please, angels, spirits, guides. What do we have for Virgo? 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Thank you for our lovely Virgos. Message for Virgo, thank you. Card is out. We have the Page of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, Virgo. And we have the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Clarify some of these cards, please. Let's clarify judgment. Let's clarify judgment, please, for Virgo. What's this judgment? Thank you. Queen of Wands. She is an action energy. She's also Aries for me as a reader. Ten of Swords is clarified with the Seven of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. We have clarified with the Six of, of Pentacles. I'm just going to clarify this page of pentacles, magician. I'm getting in this situation, I mean, there could be, this could be a relationship, Virgo. This could also be in terms of money, career, finances. Because, you know, in the challenge position, the King of Pentacles is challenged in everything, in, in manifesting everything that is stable, secure, solid and safe. So it feels like, you know, and, and certainly the page of Pentacles, which generally can be about news, communication, a message to do with career financial opportunities or, you know, can be skills development. It, it feels in the situation there's some... 
I'm getting this energy of... It feels like you're evaluating. The magician is generally an energy of manifesting a new path. Changing something negative to positive, an idea to reality. It just feels in this situation, Virgo, with a king and, and a queen here, it, it, I'm getting this energy of a, a relationship here. Where you are wondering if this can be turned around or not. Can I... Uh, is this salvageable? And that's what I'm getting with some of you. Is this kind of relationship salvageable? Because the Four of Pentacles is holding on to something so tightly, you know, it, you know, even though it, it feels like it's, there's lack here, the, the Five of, of Pentacles can be about uh, feeling out in the cold, begrudging somebody else. It can be about, you know, financial loss or uh, financial challenge. It can also be to do with, you know, pentacles can also be to do with our relationships. It's our conscious reality. So feeling out in the cold with regard to somebody and holding on tightly to it, even though you know it's, it's no good for you anymore. And there's definitely an energy of, it feels like you're just holding on to something that, is not is not fully rewarding and you're kind of seeing that but it feels that like you're wanting to see if it's salvageable can i turn something around because you know the magician energy is negative to positive an idea to reality base metal to gold yeah i mean you know the seven of, of swords is it can be about deception, betrayal. I mean, both of these cards can be betrayal energies. Um, can be to do with loss. Um, you know, but the ten is as far as it goes. You know, the ten is wounds, hurt, loss, crisis. Call it what you will. Betrayal, being stabbed in the back. But there's a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance. And I'm definitely getting there is light at the end of this tunnel to deal with whatever this situation is. It, it just feels for some of you that you were deeply hurt by a situation or by a person. It feels to do with a relationship. Because both of these energies is an action. There is a need to take action. Deep down, intuitively, you know how you need to act. And that is what the Queen of Wands is telling you. If it's not a person, it might well be a person who is telling you here with this helpful people. If it's, if it's not, if, if she's not representing a relationship, but she's representing the energy of the card, she is somebody who intuitively knows how and when to take action to bring success, advancement, you know, growth, abundance, fulfill her passions, her desires, you know. Um, she's she's a, a warrior queen. And it definitely feels for some of you that there's something is going to happen here or the judgment is saying it's coming to that point where you need to deal with something. You need to take action. You know, this is an awakening energy, but it's also a wake up call card. Um, and it, it feels in this situation, I mean, it can be to do with some kind of decision or choice. That's for your highest good, generally, the judgment card. It's for your highest good. Because the, we're going from the four or five to the six of, of pentacles. So there's definitely an energy here, Virgo, of... Generally, this can be in the pentacles energy, and yet this can be an exchange energy. So, you know, there could be some exchange here, but it, it, it generally is. You can see in the picture... There's somebody who gives to the poor, to the needy. 
you know, we see these two people receiving a handout, but it's only a handout that this person is not going to miss, you know? So it, it definitely is in this situation where we have the five of, of pentacles, which can be about lack. This is an energy of just about making do. You know, it's not a, a massive abundant energy, the six of pentacles, because we go to the seven of pentacles and we're still a little bit frustrated in terms of not getting the advancement or the value that we want. So, you know, there's definitely this energy here of, yes, this, there's a feeling of, yeah, you're, you, there's not enough. It feels there's not enough in this relationship. And it feels in this, this situation, it doesn't feel like there's enough in this relationship, enough value in this relationship. And that's what you're considering because the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away, saying goodbye. This is the action that you're taking. We have the Red Cloak, which is all about inspired action. Yes, I'm definitely feeling in this situation, somebody saying goodbye. Now, yes, this could e equally work out in terms of money, career, finances. You might be moving on to something better, which generally the Eight of Cups is moving on from disappointment. Something has played out, you know, it can be a card of uh, things have run the course. But, you know, with that missing cup, that something hasn't quite been fulfilling. Something quite hasn't hit the mark. Uh, it doesn't feel there's enough here. You're taking, it feels you're wondering if a relationship salvageable and it feels like the call to action for some of you and it won't be for everybody. Some of you will have already intuitively been thinking about this. The idea is to walk away. Now, yes, this can be in terms of money and career as well for some of you. It can also be, it feels to do with a relationship as well. Let's clarify this five of pentacles. Yeah, you see, I've got the four of pentacles at the bottom of that deck again. which can be about self-preservation, self-protection, holding on to something so tightly that it stunts your growth moving forward. And it feels like you're holding on to something that isn't bringing you reward. If there has been an ending of a relationship and you're wondering if it's salvageable or, you know, the message is it's time to walk away. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, endings and beginnings, you know, it's that transmutable en energy between as one door closes, another one opens for you, you know, it's good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. Um, but it's also a card of destiny, you know, so it, it feels in this situation, there is, this is a turning point in your life. Let's pull one more card. I mean, the message is what it is, Virgo. Like I said, it won't be for everybody. Yeah, and we have three of pentacles, which can be a rebuild energy. Um, also can be very good in terms of the beginnings of success in a new maybe in a new job or a new place, but it can also be to do with doing up a home. If you're walking away from somewhere, it can be about doing up a home energy, you know, um, maybe moving into a new home as well. I mean, I'm definitely getting in this energy. Some of you have a judgment call to make a choice. There is a situation that needs to be dealt with. And ultimately it feels the Eight of, of Cups is moving on from some kind of disappointment, however you do that. Again, there's a feeling of endings and beginnings. As one door closes, another one is opening for you. And I love the energy of the Three of Pentacles, which is the beginnings of success. Very good in terms of money, career, finances. I also feel this is a kind of rebuilding and very good in terms of um, the help. People are on hand to help, but also doing up a home property maybe for some of you. Yeah. Powerful energy, Virgo. So I'm going to pull a final card.
pure intention, the fairy of manifestation will help you will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with a pure intention and for the highest good of all. And this person is walking towards their heart's desire because I feel in this respect something just isn't what you're holding on to. It doesn't feel it's serving you anymore. The wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. You know, it's a very lovely energy, Virgo. So that's what I have for you. Uh, there is some kind of call to action for the week. Um, something needs to be dealt with. Um, and it might well be turning your back on disappointment. You know, this can be emotionally moving on. It can be physically walking away. Um, but it feels in this situation, there's a wake up call. So some kind of timely energy. Now is the time to deal with the situation. And intuitively, you will know if this is for you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.